everyone, my name is Vina, aka Miss WOC Reader, and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So it's been a minute since I've sat down and filmed a vlog, because I feel like I have to be like running here, there, and everywhere when I do a vlog so I can show you guys all this different stuff. But today I am at home. It is around 1 o'clock. I went out for like two hours to do some errand running today. Today was like both the best and worst day to run errands because there was a lot of construction work all around town so it was good in that I needed to move my car because they're doing line painting on my street so I was like oh if I lose my space it doesn't really matter because I have to go find a space um, on the other part of the street anyway and um, I while I was dodging construction work all around time like the stores are like less busy because it's a Tuesday so I was able to really find what I want plus like a lot of stuff was discounted and the new inventory was out so that was helpful I went to TJ Maxx Marshalls and Target um, I was trying to buy some essentials too because I am going on a vacation this month it's gonna be my final vacation of the year I am going to Boston which I've been talking about going to Boston for a year now. Um, it's something my mom and I really want to do, so we're going to do it. And we kept saying, we're going to do Boston at the end of September. I've been saying that for months. Um, it's going to happen. I booked the hotel. I bought the train tickets. Oh my gosh, hotels right now are so expensive. So like, when I was looking for hotels, they were all pretty much around the same price and going higher. Same with like Airbnbs and I would rather just do like a hotel versus an Airbnb. But I found like what seems like a nice hotel in the downtown area and we are excited to be able to explore Boston for a couple of days because we're going to be going from Friday through um, Monday. So that'll be fun. In the meantime, I am trying to get the shit that I need to get done while also still on the job hunt. So, I did a little bit of shopping today, just picking up some stuff I'm going to need just in general and for the trip. I got these makeup eraser wipes. These are amazing at just like taking off all your makeup without having to use a million of those reusable makeup wipes and without dirtying up a bunch of towels. These are so good at just like erasing the makeup, like it says. This one is the Falling For You set of seven. So, really helpful glad I got these these are gonna last me a long time because I do have like other ones but they're like kind of like rough now because I've had them for a couple of years so it was good to re-up and I got this palette from Pat McGrath Labs um, at TJ Maxx it was only ten dollars which Pat McGrath um, makes really good eyeshadow although like her colors just aren't as interesting right now but these are good for gifts and stuff and so it's untouched of course um really pretty just like neutral pinks so it'll make a great gift for somebody so that's why i ended up picking it up i usually have my christmas shopping pretty much done around now it's because i'm one of those early people who likes collecting stuff ahead of time while they're on sale this year i just haven't been feeling it so I'm like, I need to get a move on, so I'm trying to start now, like, collecting little things, and I need to go through my closet to see the stuff that I have to be able to gift and start taking care of the kids, because I really, like, focus on the kids and making sure they get stuff first, and then, like, my immediate family and everybody else gets a happy holidays from me. Um, so this was a really good deal. It is, um, it was five fifty for some micellar water, which is also great for removing makeup. So I got a big one and a travel one, which this one's gonna come to me. This one's gonna come with me to Boston, so this was a really great deal. Um, I got the Ultra Repair, Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty, which this stuff, I've been actually using it as a body cream and I have like a jar that's like a bigger than this that I am almost done with and I used I've been using it all year and really in the winter especially it just kept my skin so much better and soft and moisturized compared to other creams that I've used so that's why I decided to 
buy another one. I wish they had the bigger size, but still, this one wasn't bad for $16. It's going to at least last me a month into the fall. And since dry weather season is coming, I really needed this one. I got, um, from Target, I got the, um, Tresemme Boas Curled Mousse. I just always pick up a travel mousse. It's great to style hair on the go. Um, I also got from Target, um, the Sun Touchable Woe Glow. So I usually use Sunburst and it just gives my skin like a nice healthy glow, but I decided to get the darker shade, which is, um, Sunburst. I see Sunburst. I use Sunbeam and I'm switching to Sunburst, so I'm going to see if this gives me like a more bronzy look and what difference it really makes between the two, but I love this stuff. Sometimes I just wear it on my own, on its own to like run out and about doing errands and it just makes my skin look great. In addition to like the good SPF. And um, when I was at TK Maxx I saw rose water. So I have like one more bottle of this and I'm out. So I'm like always trying to make sure I have an extra bottle on hand. So this one was $4 which was great because I usually pay like 7 for it. And it's just 100% pure rose water. I use it on my face. I use it on my hair. It's just been a staple for me for like two years now. And of course travel Listerine, always a necessity. And then I saw these half lashes. They were on sale for $3 and I have been loving lashes recently. And half lashes especially because it just means I don't have to cut them. But I still can just put them on and they look great. So I definitely had to pick up these to try. Oh my gosh, so that's like most of the stuff I bought. The other stuff I bought was just like underwear and pads and stuff. But, um, I am trying to like do some reading. So currently I'm reading Immortal Dark. Um, I was listening to the audiobook while on the road. So it says I have 23 minutes of the book left. So the goal is to get that one done for today. And then I'm waiting for my copy to come in the mail. Hopefully it comes today. But, um, I've, I've actually been, for the most part, enjoying that one. It's not like my, it's not like a five star read for me, but it is probably going to end up being a four. I love the atmosphere here. I think she does just such a great job, like, really portraying the seductiveness of vampires, which I feel like not everybody does in their stories, and, like, that's one of my favorite parts of, like, vampire lore. So, um, as far as the dark academia part, uh, I wouldn't really call it dark academia. It's set at a school, but I don't feel like they really do anything with the academic side other than everybody's just trying to make sure that they pass their classes. Ooh, allergies have been kicking my ass, like, the past week. Um, so earlier I read Angelica and Laguira, which I have been meaning to read for weeks and I don't know why I was putting it off, but it's actually a very cute story. So I'm going to go ahead and film a little reel for it. And I have some books that were gifted to me like a couple of weeks ago. So I have um, Sightseeing with Aliens, which is the recent one in the Supernatural Field Guide. And... Um, Chilling with Ghosts, which I already had a copy of. Um, I think I got it either earlier this year or last year. And then Hanging with Vampires, which I'm excited to read as well. But these are part of the to a totally factual field guide to the supernatural. These are great because they give you all this beginner information on whatever creature the book is about. Along with the works cited page, book recommendations for the kids. Um, as well as like some older stories as well so it's something that adults can use as well like if you're interested in one of these creatures and maybe writing a story about them you've got to use this as a jump off point to give you some factual information about different lore for them from around the world so that's what I'm looking forward to here and I think I'm going to start sightseeing with aliens just because it is the most recent one I am also currently reading um, 
The Gift of Society, which I know I've had on my TBR forever. I had started it. I want to say the first few chapters weren't really gripping me, but now we are at chapter 16 and we're actually at the school and things are really starting to come together and I'm enjoying it a lot more. And then... I don't think I'm going to start it today, but I do need to hurry up and get to Beware of the Artman by Shakira Bourne. I've had this for a few months now. She was nice enough to send me an arc. And I love her stories. This is the second one in the, like, Josephine Against the Sea series, which I loved Josephine Against the Sea. I thought it was such a fun middle grade and just very uniquely Caribbean. So I am going to go get a drink because my throat is extremely dry and um have a little bit of content to film and i will check in with you guys in a little bit hey everyone i'm back so i'm like really bad at checking in but i filmed two videos so shout out to me got a little reel up because it's been a while since i posted some instagram content and i mean like a while it's been like a week which is like forever on instagram's algorithm and i did a video that i need to edit now with for my August wrap up and my copy of Mortal Dark came in so I did finish the book and I'm trying to now put together my thoughts about it um, into a review I'm not sure quite what I want to say yet but look how pretty it is I love that yeah so now I was making like um dinner earlier I was just making some mashed potatoes because I had some potatoes have been sitting around for a while and I had some heavy whipping cream and I started listening to Countess by Suzanne Palumbo and Countess so far is pretty interesting I mean it's a novella and I've been wanting to read something by this author so it um is kind of inspired by um indo Caribbean heritage which is something that was really fascinating to me as well and I think this one is going to be a solid read so right now I'm going to try and do some content for Immortal Dark and I may check in with you guys in a little bit all right so here I am experimenting with like flat lays I want to get a picture of Immortal Dark for the review I'm writing and I've had this mirror right here I got it from Michaels two years ago like right after Halloween I, I remember because my sister and I went out that day and we were prepping for a, our trip to Disney so we were buying like a bunch of stuff and this was like five and change I think so it says behind every mask so there is a face and behind that is a story and I've never gotten to use it but I just thought it was such a cool piece that I had to pick it up and I think it kind of fits here because like one of the big scenes in this book is like a masquerade scene and then they just have like a little fake rose over here so I'm trying to see if I can capture a pretty image to post all right so I am back with my last outfit change of the day Woo! and I just filmed some stuff for Emerald Dark and now I am actually watching some TV. I've been really into the TV lately so I am currently watching The Boys which is not amazing but it is like a fascinating show. Like sometimes I'm watching and I'm just like what the fuck am I watching like I'm currently on season 3 episode 1. And, like, a man just crawled inside another man. Like, literally inside another man. And, like, what the fuck is this? So, that's where I'm at with that. I'm also currently watching Being Human U.S. edition. And it's interesting because I didn't watch it the first time it was on. Combination of, like, I was busy with school. But also, um, at the time, I was watching being human uk and then i kind of fell off of that one too because of school and i'm like oh well the uk version is automatically better because that's, that's like what came first because there was a while where they were both airing at the same time in the u.s like one um the british version was on bbc america back when bbc america actually used to bring over good stuff now i feel like all the good bbc shows that they do bring over to america are on um netflix and other platforms and they just kind of let that channel die. I feel like a lot of 
channels that were so good for just finding like random content um especially if you like genre stuff back in the late 2000s early 2010s just kind of died and now are stagnant and boring like I was having a conversation with KJ recently about sci-fi and how they, like, they used to be really in their bag and now like nobody talks about that channel anymore. So it's like interesting watching because this show is very much a product of its time like it feels like the late 2000s like watching the first season. I'm on season two now and it's gotten better. It took me a, like several episodes in to season one to like feel any type of like way for any of the characters because I just felt like it was like kind of very generic and like you're dealing with vampires and it's like a lot of like sexy blood porn which was like the ish at the time but like watching it now like over 10 years later I'm just like eh. it's definitely like not a timeless classic but I am starting to enjoy it a lot more and have fun with the show now that it's progressed and I'm curious to see where it goes. So yeah, I'm going to watch a little TV and then hopefully I will get more reading done tonight. I'm thinking of finishing like just the Magic Order Volume 2 since that came in from the library. But I'm going to end the vlog from here. Thanks so much to all of you who constantly tune in to any video I do every week. I really appreciate y'all. If you like this video, make sure and hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!